At 10 o'clock, we got TCU, which went 5-7 and seven last year, traveling to Colorado, which went 4-8. and eight. TCU favored 14 points on ESPN. Uh, Max Duggan, their quarterback for TCU, had 100, went 145 to 227 last year, threw for 2,048 yards, 16 touchdowns to 6 interceptions. Had a 63.9% completion percentage. Um, Country Miller, their running back, had 83 carries for 623 yards and 7 touchdowns. And Quentin Johnston had 33 catches for 612 yards and 6 touchdowns. Now, JT Shrout, the quarterback for Colorado, went 24 of 42 last year, threw for 315 yards. Four touchdowns, three interceptions, and had 57.1% completion percentage. Alex Fontenant had 97 car 96 carries for 326 yards and five touchdowns. And Brady Russell had 25 catches for 307 yards and zero touchdowns. Um, it's TCU and Colorado have never played before, which is actually really cool that we're going to get to see a first-time matchup between two Power 5 schools. Uh, you just you got to lean toward TCU in this one. Obviously, they're favored by 14 points for a reason. But just you look at the squad that they have, and it just looks so much better. There's continuity in offense. And while TCU is not going to be challenged for a Big 12 championship anytime soon, um, they're still TCU. They're normally around bowl game eligible or bowl game every year. Um, it's just Colorado, had, they looked really bad last year. And there's just there's not the same continuity on offense that TCU has. TCU obviously has more firepower because they play in the Big 12 and offense is very punctuated in the Big 12. It's obviously very focused on. So uh, just for that reason alone, I think you got to go TCU here. You got to go Horn Frogs to win and cover this matchup.